Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to show you how you can put three presentations in one file by using custom shows. So on the screen, I've got the three main commanders from the Battle of Waterloo, Wellington, Blücher and Napoleon. So I want each one of these to have their own presentation rather than all of it being mixed into one. So at the moment, it is all one presentation, just coming down, just 10 slides, but it's all separate. So I need to create custom shows so that I can run a presentation that's just about the Duke of Wellington or Blücher or Napoleon. Now to do that, you need to go onto the slideshow tab of the ribbon and then custom shows. So custom shows, new. So I'll call the first one Wellington. And then you need to add the slides that you want to appear. So I'll tick the title slide, Wellington, order of battle for the British. So those three slides, and then these three. So all of, all of them are gonna have these three, but the first three are gonna be slightly different. So add that one. Okay, then new. So now I'll do Blucher. So title slide and now I want this one and that one and these three at the end so add those didn't take the title one okay and then the last one is Napoleon so I'm creating three different presentations within one file if you like so Napoleon and if you, if you make a mistake you can come back and edit these and take, take different slides off or add extra ones like so so now I've got three custom shows I can close that now what I want to do is create a hyperlink from each one of these to run those custom shows and then come back to this slide so to create a hyperlink you just click on the picture or text that you want to be the link and then you go into the insert tab and you click in link so the option you need is place in this document and then you'll see those custom shows so they don't normally appear unless you've created a custom show so I want this one Wellington to be the custom show that I want to run on this link and I'm ticking this box to show and return to this slide so I'll click OK and then what should happen now is I put this into full screen when I click on Wellington it shows this slide and then when I press enter, it just shows the British slides and then the beginning, the fight and the casualties and then comes back to the title slide. Now, if I just press escape on that, I need to edit this because I want to take that title slide off. So if I go back into slideshows and custom show Wellington, I need to do it for them all really. I don't want to run the thing. I want to go into custom shows, edit just going to take off that that slide so just remove that now let's see what happens this time if I put that into full screen and click the link and then go through it so it doesn't come back onto the same slide twice basically and then it ends up back on there so you didn't need to put the first slide in I need to do that for the other two as well so Going to custom shows, Bruca, edit, just take that first slide off, remove, OK. Same for Wellington, Napoleon, edit, first slide, remove. And that's what you do, you just take things on and off if it don't work. Close that. Now I need to do the hyperlinks for the other two. So back to insert link. So this is Bluca, this one. I want to run that one. Show and return, OK. And then Napoleon link scroll down find napoleon show and return okay so that's basically how you can create three different presentations within one file using custom shows now another thing i want to do is to quickly talk about how i've created these sections so i've created two sections here british and french but the french one is not correct because i've got the Prussians in there as well so if I click there and then go back to home 
and add a section, add section, call it Prussian. Then you get a section of Prussian, and then this one needs to be general really. So I'll just add another section and call it add section, just general info, rename. What you can do with sections is you can make sure you've got the right information in each section. If you collapse these down, the whole presentation can be seen via the headings. And then the title I've called heading as well. So it tells you how many slides there are in each section. And you can see the whole PowerPoint presentation structure there. And you can also, if you've got a section, you can also independently format this. So if I change the design of this, these two slides, I'll just open this one so you can see it as well. But I'll click on these two. So I'll click on British so it highlights the two of them. And then if I go to design and just pick a, a random design, one of these that's preloaded, uh, that one. You see it's only changed those two slides. So it's not changed these. And then if you went onto French, you could pick a, a different design theme if you like for the French and then they get that I don't like that one pick a different one that's better same for the Prussians open up the Prussians have a look pick a different design for them go back into this drop down list there you go so and then the last one general you can maybe leave it on on that black you don't have to do that but it's just a, a benefit of doing sections also you can move a whole section if I collapse that down you can move the selection the actual order of this presentation by just grabbing the section title itself rather than copying and pasting and moving loads of different slides around so that's all I want to talk about in this little video it's basically how to create a PowerPoint presentation with multiple presentations in one file and then how to add sections in that presentation so you can one change designs for each section if you want two manage the slides within a section and three move a whole section as a group if it's in the wrong order so hopefully that was of use for you thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one